one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Big Gouch. This is Talking Investing Show. It's completely out of pocket. Top put money in your pocket. I'm Austin back with the boys. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, Big Gauchos? It's your boy, Big Gaucho Tyler. We back with another banger video with a lot to go with today's episode. What's up, Big Gauchos? It is Big Goucher Dave. I am back from my scuba diving expedition. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff to go over. Um, let's get right into it. I'm glad you're back, Dave. But uh, first, before we get into these stories, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. It uh, really helps out the channel. And then after you do that, um, you'll be able to see the stories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so first thing we have is, uh, you know, travel's coming back. So Delta was actually forced to cancel over 100 flights over the weekend. And this was due to staff shortages and a super high demand for flights. So, you know, supplies down, demands up. Um, you know, you don't have all the uh, people working. So they had to cancel some flights, and they also decided to open up the middle seats in their airplanes on Sunday and on Monday in order to accommodate all these passengers. However, Delta did say that they will continue to block off the middle seats until the beginning of May. But um, they also mentioned mm -hmm. that they may unblock the middle seats as needed, which is kind of weird. So basically, I guess the middle seats are open, but not officially opened. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, what that's that, that's stupid. That that really doesn't make any sense. It just it sounds like they're backpedaling on a week by week basis. <laughs> yeah, it seems it just sounds like like they're gonna open the middle seats, but they're just pandering to people who are still afraid. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. They're I don't know. To hit both it, sides of the story. Yeah, they really are. I I think. I don't know. I, I I don't think that they should push it because you know um, they don't want to be the one airline that you know, potentially has an outbreak on their airline, then they get all the bad press and uh, PR for it. So, you know, as, as long as they're not the first one to screw it up with the virus, um, they should be in the clear, keep getting those profits. But um, at the same time, when you're having to cancel 100 flights, um, kind of sucks that you can't make some of those accommodations where you need to. Yeah, apparently American and I think United have the middle seats unblocked Ooh. Hmm. so what yeah are, what are I we mean, thinking though top two biggest like overall air travel the whole space right now we know they're gonna get bailed out regardless but now that demand is going up how do you think this is gonna affect their stocks moving forward for the rest of this year do you think it's still gonna be subtle you know improvements or are we gonna go back down <sighs> I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like there could be a little bit of a dip, you know, just just before we, uh, you know, get phased out of everything. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it seems like Dow's just on the up and up, and uh, same with Nasdaq. So, really, no signs of slowing down long term. I think by July we will be at pre-pandemic levels for all the airliner stocks. I think they'll return back to what they were before the pandemic. Um, you know, travel coming back, uh, as in March, the travel on Delta was about 50% what it was before the virus, um, which is coming back really strong. Cause I think a lot of people predicted it wouldn't even recover until it's like 2025 or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, I think it's probably going to be back to normal probably by next time or this time next year, I would imagine. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, we can only hope so. Do we think airlines right now is a buy and a hold for the next year? Um, yeah, no, I think they're a buy. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I agree. I think you still have a pretty decent amount of equity to get in on something right now if you wanted to jump in, but uh, just buy cautiously. Um, don't don't buy one of the airlines that's, uh, you know, going down hard. Uh, you know, you guys know who you are, but uh, just, just buy something reputable and uh, keep it long term. You're not going to get a really good, like, quick swing trade on it. But yeah, it's my take. Just put them all on a wheel, spin the wheel, and throw a dart, and whatever it lands on, buy a hundred percent of that. <laughs> Big gotcha <laughs> wheel of stocks. Big gotcha <laughs> wheel of stocks. Uh -huh. Gotta bring that back. Yep, we gotta bring that back for sure. But uh, we also gotta bring back movie theaters because uh, you know, there's one thing I do miss. It is a good movie, and uh, we had some pretty crazy premieres that were uh, making some big money. Oh, yeah. So, like Big Gaucho Asti said, movie theaters are not out for the count just yet. 
just this past weekend, Godzilla vs. Kong had premiered in theaters March 31st, and they generated a whopping $48.5 million on opening weekend. Dang. All right, guys. That is pretty ridiculous from what we've been seeing this past couple years since no movies actually came out and everybody has turned to streaming. So I guess this is actually a, a good start for theaters because people want to get out and uh, enjoy the experience of going to the to their movie theaters. And quick note, when the first Godzilla uh, premiered back in 2019, pre-virus, pre-pandemic, they only grossed $47.8 million. And the, now post-pandemic, or you, some might argue that still in the pandemic, they were able to gross... <laughs> over about a million dollars more what are we what are our thoughts i mean i i, I think it's just because people have no other option at the movies honestly but <laughs> it that does true. It, it it does really show the the buying power of just going out and getting some uh quality entertainment even if it's only for a mm -hmm. little bit so really cool to see that for sure uh but yeah i'm i'm pretty excited i'm a pretty big movie fan myself and, uh, you know, even even though there's still a decent amount of theaters that are still closed, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. I mean, I went out to the movies on Saturday for the first time since, like, 2020, February. So Yeah. I, st I still haven't been yet. That's crazy. It's been over a year. I've never gone that long without going to a movie. Yeah, me too. And I know we talked about this, thinking that movie theaters are going to die out and honestly become, like, a novelty like maybe one that people go to just to like experience what it was like back then. But seeing <laughs> this type of numbers, even when only 57% of movie theaters are open right now, and even though this is the only movie that came out, still gross that type of money is pretty astonishing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, bad. even for gross proceeds, it's pretty crazy. But, uh, you know, hopefully we could get some good buys on some theater stocks. So Take who's to the next level? Who's uh who's winning? Godzilla or Kong? I mean, personally, I like I think Kong. You know, Kong has that gorilla power. I don't know. God, Godzilla's covered in scales and he's got the spikes. He's pretty well protected. So and, and he can shoot like a, a huge laser beam from his mouth. I don't know if Godzilla can do that yet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, Kong's about to get toasted. I don't know. I'm Team Kong. Team Kong all the way. But I am also Team AMC and I Max Corp. <laughs> So what are we thinking, <laughs> boys and girls? Are we? Is it a buy, sell, hold, or what with these stocks? Uh, I think I think gamble some money on AMC. It's the new Tesla, um, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I'd say put a couple thousand into that and uh, hold it long term. See where it takes you. Yeah, sounds good. I'm I'm with it. Yeah, I like it. But. Um, I'm also with these uh, big winners, big losers, and sleepers. Get some variety in there. Ooh. Let's hit All that. Right. Ooh. All right. Well, uh, what do we got coming in hot at number one? You know, we have Nikon Corporation, NINOF, up 31 and a third percent, and they make cameras and other stuff. That's kind of yep. cool. Yep. They are well known for their cameras. Pick up a DSLR today if you haven't. Yes, sir. And then number two, we have AMC Entertainment Holdings up 13.35% on go. pretty good news about um, theaters. But yeah, yeah. You know, they're still going to be diluting their stock, probably. But that's already <laughs> been factored in. I don't imagine. <laughs> it's priced you know, in. <laughs> We're good. No, already, We're on the moon. It, it's already priced in. Yeah, the stock dropped like 20% in the past couple of days once that news was priced in. Yeah, I mean, um, hey, 10, 10 bucks ain't too bad. Not bye bye bye. Throw in ton, twenty grand on AMC if you can, please. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, do it and send us a picture. It's proof. But uh, at the meantime, look at the big losers. <laughs> Number one, we have Toya or Tuya. I'm not sure. Incorporated T U Y A down fourteen percent, and they Eesh. are a ch Chinese company Jeez. that does software. Um, and then number two, we have Nicola Corporation, NKLA, down 7.7%. That's gold. And expected. Yeah, there's the a lot of other companies in between these two, but, you know, we make the show and we saw Nicola and losers. <laughs> we had to put them in there regardless of wherever they were. 
Hey, it's it's biased. If you're upset about it, make your own stock podcast. We don't care. <laughs> hey man, um, let's go. <laughs> and uh, well, we also got uh, sleeper stocks coming in hot. Uh, take a break. Boom! All right, all right, all right, all right. I know what you guys are thinking. This has been on here like four times. Yeah, you're right. AMC, biggest sleeper stock of the day. I don't care what you're doing. Just put like four or five hundred thousand into it. You know, see what happens. Could take over the company, majority buyout. Probably um, <laughs> Probably could. Movie theaters are coming back. Check it out. Uh, number two, we got Verizon making big strides in the 5G space. Also, everybody needs cell service, especially during a pandemic. Uh, people are trying to get, you know, that unlimited data because they got nothing else to do. Fair enough. Also, number three, we got Simon Property Group. It's a REIT a real estate investment trust um, that holds shopping malls. So they're down today and uh, shopping malls, obviously nobody wants to shop at malls anymore. So could get a pretty good value buy out of this one. Yeah, Rip PV Mall. Mm -hmm. Rip PV Mall, got to gotta pour one out. Uh, they just closed last week, but uh, very sad, very tragic. I well, agree. anyway, anyway... <laughs> uh anchor is going to be taking us into the next segment with their uh, wonderful sponsorship so uh let's hit that ad Ooh. all right uh you know the deal real quick oh we hate ruby tuesday no new additions to the boneyard true and, and i won today oh first one of the decade true <laughs> <laughs> Um, so tomorrow, I think we're going to go up. I think we're going to go up again to 33,775. Jeez. 775. Um, 33,527. I'm going 33, 34,000. I'm doing 34,000. 34,000. Dude, I'm telling you, we're going to 40K by the end of the year. That's, that's not a bad call, actually. It, it, it very well could happen by the end of the year. But oh yeah, I yeah. guess you guys will have to see what happens. Um, as you know, stock market is very volatile. But I want to thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the show. Anchor.fm slash gauchos or biggauchos.com if you want to send us an investing tip on the show. Tyler, do it. All right, Big Gauchos, quick disclaimer because we love disclaimers. Everything said on this podcast is our opinions from our experiences. With that being said, we are not licensed brokers, so please, please, please do due diligence and invest safely, big guys, just because we are not liable for any lost gains, but we are directly liable for all you already know major gains because we love to make money. And I'd like to thank everybody for all the love and support, and uh, please subscribe and like to the channel. It makes us happy to make you mm -hmm. happy. Now, Dave, let the viewers know our amazing Instagram. Yeah, so the Instagram is at big gadgets. Post some good stuff there every now and then. Emphasis on the every now um but yeah go check it out send it to your mom or maybe your dad i don't know or maybe your sister or maybe but. your dog true but check it out yep definitely check those out make sure you also check us out on streaming services if you're watching on youtube you can take us on the go we are on apple spotify anchor youtube google podcast cast breaker radio public overcast or you can add us here on rss feed anywhere you listen to podcasts make sure especially if you're listening on apple podcasts if it's rating one to five stars do not accept anything less than four and a half stars and leave us a review tell us your favorite couch always share that link uh boys we got anything else to add before we get out of here tonight um good for the heart good for the pocket good for the heart good for the pocket King Kong is the man. 500K on AMC and uh, Godzilla all the way. Good night from Arizona. Everybody, somebody today. Peace. Mm -hmm.